drop. I walk with a limp bitch and look at my hip. You talking your shit, then I'm busting your lip. I am a vibe, I'm a wavy little bitch. Fuck what you think, bitch, your hair look like shit. So I'm got What's poppin', Cloud Babies? Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Dream, and I'm back again with another video. Today, if you couldn't tell by the title, I don't even pretty much know what I'm naming this, but we're gonna be talking about the little crush that I have because he's new to y'all, but not new to me. I don't know. Excuse my face. I'm as bare as I could be today. I need my eyelashes done. I need my eyebrows done, bitch. I just washed my hair. We're not feeling it today. I had to get the video out the way, so I'm like, fuck it. I was actually in the process of doing my makeup for TikTok and for like reels and stuff on Instagram. If y'all don't follow me on my TikTok or on my Instagram, make sure you follow me at Living Dream with two M's as in mommy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll give y'all a second to do that. So this person, I'm not finna tell y'all his name just yet. I will reveal that a little later on because some of you guys probably know this person. He signed and shit. Me and him actually had like slick of a phase like a couple of months back. When I say a couple of months back, I mean like, bitch. When I say a couple of months back, I'm talking about like in the summer type shit. Like we had a little fling or whatever. Nothing serious though. Like I wasn't fucking with him that much and he wasn't fucking with me that much either. But we were going out like back to back to back i'm talking about section after section after section bitch it was so much fun like he survived when we go out i'm a vibe apparently when we go out so the vibes was all there the vibes was all there we never decided to actually take it a step ahead because none of us was on that type of time back then in the midst of us continuing to go out like i'm talking about repeatedly the whole summer it was back to back like i was literally living a fucking rock star life this whole summer i don't know what the fuck i was on but the amount of crash shit i did in the amount of bitch sleepless nights bitch sleepless days like i was on some wild shit this summer don't regret anything though because i'm young as fuck and i should have my young experiences because bitch i already regret my whole high school like i regret listening to my parents so much i regret being a scary bitch every time it was time for me to go do something because i missed out on a lot in high school like i really did so bitch, I said to myself after I moved out the house, I'm like, I'm never missing out on shit again. So I'm not, and I'm not, and I won't. <laughs> Cause I'd rather do this shit now. He just texted me. Mm -hmm. He just said, come over, but it's 8 a.m. right now. And I gotta do my makeup and shit. Even though he likes me best like this. As I was saying, in the midst of us going out and shit, like the more and more we hung out, like he started to catch feelings and shit. He began to trip like anytime, like any of his friends or any other rapper, or, like anybody came up to me, like he would literally flip his whole wig, like upside down, left and right, bitch, diagonal. I like me a nigga like that, but I don't at the same time. Like, too much is too much like don't do it too much type shit and he began to do it too much so like i don't even know that began to get on my nerves a little bit and i was just like yeah <laughs> doesn't matter because like after like a month and a half or like a month after it was me who started tripping so he would trip then i would trip then bitch it was just an ongoing thing we would try we would bitch be arguing at the club and one thing i always remember him saying and it's stuck in my head now so every time i go to the club i will always remember this if somebody tries to get into arguing with me or if somebody tries to bitch because i move i do a lot of hand movements so he will always be like you're doing too much hand so picture us arguing and he's like this you're doing too much hand movement. And me like, like. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, have you ever seen somebody fighting at the club and bitch, you can't hear nothing. They just look dumb because they moving too much. But anyways, he's like in front of the camera a lot and shit like that. So he doesn't like all that, like bad attention. Let's just say that. But then I ended up cutting him off and I cut him off for like a long time, literally up until recently. Like we just started talking again. And now we're back talking again. I just feel like it's something I should share with you guys because y'all like me talking about my problems and talking about my life and y'all like to hear about me shaking back. And I never actually had like a nigga on my channel. So why not test this out? Let me know down in the comments below. Like, are you a public type bitch or bitch? Are you a private type bitch? Even a nigga, like, do you keep your relationships and entanglements and situationships or somebody you talk to 
public or private some of the things i love about him like he's literally so caring like he gives a fuck and he noticed like like the things that i was already talking about he gives a fuck about the little things that make like he pays attention to the little things that make me he know what upsets me he do, he knows what don't upset me he knows how to like maneuver around me because sometimes i might be stuck in my way sometimes but there's a way to talk to me and there's a way to like you know make me see shit in a different way or bitch you know and it's called patience so he has a lot of patience with me he actually gives a fuck y'all <laughs> he gives a fuck a fuck he gives a fuck he literally is just touchy touchy feely feely like he's always either like playing with my hair he gasses me bitch like no other i'm talking about like he gasses the fuck out of me like literally will pay attention to like my curls or some shit like i don't even it's just shit that i don't even think about like he'll be like damn your curls are so pretty like bitch like we'll just be smoking or something or we'll be in the studio we'll be anywhere like it don't matter and i'll just catch him staring at me and i'm like because bitch that's how like what the fuck you looking at like <laughs> soften up some i will though i will eventually this is just how i am at the beginning and he'll just be like you're just so pretty like what the fuck like who made you <laughs> cute i don't know there's so much more i could say but honestly i'm just going to leave it at this right now i just want you guys to comment down in the comments below if you actually want to meet him like should i put him in my next video or should i just keep it private to myself. Do y'all want like couple vlogs? It's not, we're not a couple yet or bitch. We're just talking, like we just talk, we just talk. So um, do y'all want some of that? I don't know, nigga never, Dream never had a nigga in her channel, you know what I mean? I already got some plans and ideas that i would do but it's all gonna be up to you guys if you niggas want to meet him then let me know if y'all don't want to meet him also let me know because i really am lost i don't know what to do so i need y'all to comment 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 and help your girl out deciding should i introduce him to you guys to my whole youtube channel or should i leave him out of dreams world comment 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 if you guys like this video make sure to comment like share and subscribe i love you guys so much and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one Bye. i walk with a little bitch and look at my hip you talking your shit then i'm busting your lip i am a vibe i'm a wavy little bitch fuck what you think bitch your hair look like shit i don't got time i like family